Hello everybody, and welcome back. This is Inscription. We're doing the challenge run. It's the 250 challenge run. And it's not a normal video, as you can see. It's not the normal audio or nothing like that. This is kind of just like an explanation on why I haven't been uploading Inscription itself. And it's not because I've given up or anything like that. It's because in between, I've been working on the challenge and I wanted to do it in a different style. And it's just been it's been bad runs it's literally been bad runs no matter what I do I just get to either the second boss area or whatever and then I just cannot get it done which sucks because I have done similar challenges I've done all these challenges solo but getting them done all in one it, it seems like it just be like okay well you know that's why I went for the moose buck because I said, well, you know, it'll work out easier. I'll be able to play with the power. And it, it, no matter what I do, it's just been the same result. The same result each time. And so I didn't want to post a video where it's just like I constantly lose or whatever. And it's not because I'm foolhardy. It's just because I want to actually have some sort of success. Because I've already done a video where it's loss after loss and then every time I've been playing it's I've died I've died I've died or I have bad luck and then I have worse luck like how are you gonna just get rid of my rabbit like that dude but at the same time I do enjoy playing it so I keep coming back to it but again I didn't want to post a video where all it was was the same result over and over and over because I feel like it would get monotonous after a while and it's the same way I feel about Hades sometimes like when I have runs that are just terrible and then they're near the end time and I'm like well you know I've already posted a video with a bad run like towards the beginning of the game when you have hardly anything unlocked but there's also a different progression rate in that, so it, it works a little differently than this does. This is kind of just like your skill, and right now it's not really showing that I have any, if at all. But there were runs that I had pre-recorded that I said, you know, I could share these and make this video because I had debated on this video for a while, and I ended up doing against it, going against it, and then I just said, you know, I have to do it. So I reloaded into the game, and I just started a new run, and then that's why you see the possum that I had early on, and one of these parts, you're going to see it, if not already, um, but I did want to make sure that I did make the video because it had been a while since any inscription content was posted in general that I'm not giving up on it I'm just trying to get my run solidified and once I do that we're gonna be good to go which I have some good news and it's coming up it, it's finally it's getting somewhere I'm getting the gist of the well I knew what I wanted to do but it's just not it's not gonna work out the way I wanted it so I have to kind of play it correctly which was I was using the moose buck deck and then instead of uh, worrying about you know oh I need to have a splitter or whatever I'd use the moose buck and then either the pronghorn or the or the regular mantis I would use buff up its attack a couple times but it has to play out just right or else the run is toast I've had runs where you don't even start off with the campfire and that's a that's a no-no for me because I absolutely need it you absolutely need to have some kind of buffed out character somewhere in order to make this run work so now I had one run that's you know I got through the first section of the first boss and I actually you know real quick the the first boss is the the worst one to start out with is the trapper if you start with the boss if you start with the trapper I always consider those runs just toast because you, you're not well equipped enough 
to start with the first one as the trapper. You know, it's not for me. That's just my thinking on it. It's not a it's not a good run if you have to start with the trapper on the 250 challenge. You can do it, but it's one of those things where I'd rather start with the prospector and then I would be fine with doing the trapper after only because by then you'd have creatures that have powered up or you've done a couple of the trials or you've met with the brothers or you have the duplicates you have things that could actually help you out in that regard now this is the run that <clears throat> I debated on keeping because we get to a good point in it but at the same time where I'm stuck at I feel like I shouldn't be stuck but I know why I am I have too many cards so when this part plays out it's going to be because I have too many cards and uh, not enough resource. In other words, I don't have a lot of utility that's going to really help me out. Even though I have, by the end of the video, I'll have a couple pack rats, I'll have a couple things that help me out. I don't have enough that, you know, I could get cards onto the field or scry or do things that would actually be beneficial to the run itself. Instead, I just left myself with, oh, this is good, this is good, and I'll fuse this into that, and then never ran into a fusion table. And when I did, it was on the opposite end of the map after a route that I had already took. It's, it's a game that's a lot of fun, but sometimes luck plays a factor, and lately, luck has not been on my side with this, which is fine. It's not like I hate it. It's not like I'm going to stop playing it. It just means that I haven't posted because of it. Because I can't, in good conscience, post run after run after run after run of just complete and utter failure. I could, but it's not going to make for a good progression. So what I wanted to do was something like this, where I had a run that failed, I explained it, and then I would have a run that would be successful, and then we just go through it. But, I get to a certain point in this, and it stops. Because I'm like, oh, well, I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do, we're stuck. Because I'm not gonna, when I draw my basic creature, I'm not getting into pull I need. And when I draw my squirrel, it's too late in the process to where by then I'm toast. So then it turns out to be, well, what are you going to do next? What can you do? I'm, I, worst case scenario, I'm going to just play, pre-record, because I wanted to do it in a different style. I wanted to do it to where, okay, where I say just landmarks. We did this, we did this, we did this, and then have like the success rate by that. But if I can't even get past <clears throat> a regular enemy, what am I going to do against a boss? It, which sucks because I ended up having this great idea, as you can see, where I use the grizzly, where I'm going to use the bears against them. And I duplicate the bear, and I said, well, you know, if I, if I do this, then I'll be able to have two or three that I could pull to the field, and then I'll just duplicate the, um, what's it called? The goats. I can't, I couldn't think of it for whatever reason, but the goat. Um, this way I could have a triple sacrifice. I'd do four of those and three of the grizzlies. This way I knew how many I had, and then I had like the moles and all that to just throw into the field in the meantime. And if I did that, then no matter where they were, I would have something for a crazy attack. You know, I would have uh, each square filled and then I'd have some areas that would be double attacked, which would be plenty because I buffed it out to 6-6. Six, six. So if I attacked full swing on three separate areas that were doing a double swing, I would have two to four, I could, potentially. So that was the idea with it. And then there were some that took some thinking like that. I said, okay, you know, uh, it, it's not going to hinder my run if I have to use my items but there are sections where you need 
your items more than normal. That's my opinion on it. I just, again, I didn't want to just make the same video. You know, I didn't want to make the same video where it's just loss, loss, loss. I wanted to actually show you guys some progression. So, we get some progression out of this. However, it's minor successes. Yes, we beat the prospector, but it's not like it's the most difficult thing. And we actually got lucky here. I always muff up getting the gold, and we did pretty well there. So, we get the golden pelt, and I'm hoping that pays off soon. I'm going to try this area again, and I'm going to make sure that you know, we get stuff done. I want to try to get it all done the way it needs to be and then package it up into a pretty little video and it'll be left off after this so you'll already have the first half and if I restart you'll know because that's how I'll start the next video but I think that in, I think that I still think the game's worth it. I love this game. If I didn't then I wouldn't even be bothered with making this video. I wouldn't even be bothered with posting a reason why or anything like that because I'd just look at it like, oh well, you know, I'll just come back to it whenever and then not worry about it. But this has actually been eating at me, saying like, oh, I need, to, I need to do something with the inscription. I need to post something with the inscription because, you know, what are, because I have a few dedicated watchers to Inscription, and so I'm like, oh, what, you know, what's gonna happen when they're not seeing it? What's gonna happen when, you know, things are moving forward, and then there's no inscription? Like, what, did I just give up on it? I didn't address it. What's going on? And so I'm addressing it. It's not giving up on. It. Honestly, I think this run was a lot better rather than the ones that were previously shown where they were either the sped up battles or the just the sped up items. This run was a lot smoother, a lot cleaner, and I had two characters that, uh, cards rather, not really characters, but two cards that I was able to utilize as my different strategies. So I could have a tank character that could hold off until my swing came in, and then I could have the swing character come from the jump and then pull in the tank character after card jesus why do i keep saying characters they're not it's not an actual it's not a game like that but that was the whole idea behind it i just wanted to have heavy characters that maybe were slow to put on the field but would be worth it in the end because at the end of the day you need to have something that's gonna have a little bit more heft to it if you're gonna take on the uh the Grizzlies and this challenge in general you need to have heavier cards or cards with death touch and ones that would be nice is if I had like the the snake I can't think of it the Adler the Adler and then you uh, went ahead and side swiped like have it do the swing attack with death touch that would be nice too but I haven't been that lucky to actually get both onto the same card and if I did, I'd put it on the cheaper of the two because it's a 1-1 one, one anyway with poison. And I'd just throw it on the Mantis since the Mantis is one cost. You know, I'd just throw the poison on that. Or the Mantis God if I got that lucky, but I have not yet. I even did a run with the Mantis God because I said, oh, that's how I beat the Grizzly Challenge in the first place. Yeah, that's because I did it separate. With all of the rest of the challenge on, it's a, a lot rougher. It's not as even keeled as I thought it would be. I went into a little headstrong, but at the end of the day, we still get it. We still get it done for this first section here, which I'm pretty happy with. I mean, it could have went a lot worse. Things could have went into heavy turmoil, but they didn't. We ended up, you know, fixing the hole for ourselves to go ahead and climb through. And the reason why I say that is because. I put myself in a hole with how much cards I have, with how many cards I have, rather. And that's pretty much the gist of it. I, I just, I muffed up. I dropped the ball on it big time. I was going to say heavy time, heavy time. But I dropped the ball big time when it could have been a lot better. It could have been a lot smoother of a run. And 
kind of mad at myself for it. Right there was worse. I know I said you could see it before, but right there is really worse. I should not have that many cards at this point in the game. So I made it worse by having that idea of starting to duplicate the Grizzly cards. Honestly, what I could do is if I have, if I beat this right here, this is where I'm stuck at and you, you're gonna see it. If, if I beat this right here, then my best bet would be going to the brothers and just fusing the two grizzlies together because it'll be a 12 10 and then i'll be able to just throw that on the field with just you know bystanders just whatever whatever and it'll have enough tag attack not enough tack enough attack to take out two of the grizzlies in one turn only take one attack and then double attack again but as you can see Right here, I fail. So this is about the section where I end up resetting and resetting and resetting and resetting so I think it's a good place to just kind of let it play out and then tell you guys why I, I've stopped here in the first place so the reason why I did was uh, I, I won I need the extra draw but as you can see there are two more that pop through so by the time you're done getting damaged you're done it's it's over and the reason why that happens is because I put too many cards in the deck. So I'm going to end up restarting it. I know it. I'm going to get to a point where I get so frustrated with it that I'm not even going to bother looking for a way out on it. And I just say, I'll just restart. That's basically the gist of what's been going on with Inscription. Is that it's been the same thing. I'll just restart. Next run will be better. I'll just restart. Next run will be better. But until I have a run that's solidified, um, it's not given up on. So I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all. And 1K gang, let's go. It will get done. I'll end up pulling through somehow, some way, shape, or form. We always do. So stay tuned.